Why could the pirates not play cards? Because they were sitting on the deck. What? Hey, hi. Today is all about flight controllers. I have it installed on the Skyhunter F2S flight controller and it's a really cheap all-in-one flight controller. Comes built in with a uh, OSD, a GPS, everything all you needed in a flight controller and it takes 75% less time than uh, APM. So I'm pleased to report the success. So I'm going to show you what I have documented and share it with you. I bought this about probably 6 to 8 months ago so it's been out quite some time, it's not new. It comes with a all-in-one uh, integration, a power supply, XT60, a GPS for return home, a GPS, if I get it focused, it's a M8 end. So this is uh, receiving in several formats, uh, GPS and GLONASS is one of the two satellite system out there to help get a position fix a lot faster if you have two GPS system. Before I begin to install everything on the plane, what I'm going to do is get a bunch of servo cables and test it and see how it performs. So I've decided to hook it up to a Yishin Hunter plane. This small little plane flies really well, it tracks really well. I could fly without a gyro, so if I can fly that, I can build out of the flight controller at any time. It's three channels uh, without a rudder. This flight controller is made for a flying wing or a three channel plane. But you could put it on a four channel plane with a rudder, but it's not necessary. So, what's special about this flight controller, the F2S? It's an all in one plug and play. Uh, as you can see, the camera is hooked up here. Sends the video picture onto the flight controller. The on screen display will transmit the data and the picture onto your FPV transmitter. That's your video transmitter, so it's hooked up. And it shows you everything. I've been chatting it, shows you the RSSI, the flight mode, distance from home, and even it illustrates where you are in relation to the launch point, a little radar. It's velocity and the voltage. All the important stuff basically. I'll be hooking up to a Tyrannus receiver, the X8R. And one of the questions I was trying to figure out when I was installing it is this yellow signal cable is on the top. So I've tested it. Looks good. That's the power supply. And then that's the GPS. So before I put everything onto the plane, I would run a test and see how it performs. So we're going to start by powering it up. And this is the power module. So XT60 on a 3S LiPo battery. Theranus. Welcome to drone mission. Switch warning. Engine off. Normal. Stabilize mode. So we're going to test the control surfaces. Left turn. Right turn. Okay, left turn is reversed. So we need to fix that. Alright. Let's take a look at that. So it's channel 1 for ailerons. Okay. So okay, left up, right up. Okay, that's good. Left turn up, right turn up. Elevator up, elevator up, elevator down. That's good. There's no rudder. So trotter, I have a safety switch. Engine on. Looks good. Harder. Engine on. Engine off. There you go. Now to test the gyro, I can take the flight controller and simulate it. So if I roll right, the left aileron should come up to 
lever it off and we're gonna roll left to right aileron should come up to correct it and level off uh, take a dive the elevator pulls up to correct it and when I climb too high takes a slight dive to correct it on the elevator so that gyro works pretty well uh, auto correction so So a quick look at the XAR8R setup for the Tyrannus, the original Tyrannus. So let's go back to the setup. So I have this setup D16 and channel 1 to 8 for PWM. And what's important to note is the failsafe is set to no pulse. No pulse basically sends no signal to the Receiver and the flight controller basically resumes assumes the control of the uh, of the plane and returns home. So no pulse. So this is the on-screen display. Uh, everything you need to fly a plane. The data is passed through the flight controller onto your video screen. And uh, to get into the manual system, everything is all done through the aileron stick. So you hold down, hold to the right, your aileron for a few seconds, and you get this manual system. Here you can see the gains set at 90%. You can set it according to your plane. 80 to 90% is a good recommended range. Throttle, that's the amount of throttle is set when you return home. So find a sweet spot for your plane that doesn't cause you to store your plane so 75% is a good guide uh, depending on your plane set your launch point it's manually done before you take off so you can come back home and then you could calibrate your flight controller as far as the voltage through here I haven't tried it yet and set your waypoints to get out of the manual system you just toggle it and you should be out I'm gonna put on my little camera just so you can see it. What I just did was uh, restarted the flight controller, disconnect the battery, and restart again. And then put on the camera first. I notice uh, if you don't put the camera on first, uh, your overlay will be uh, hidden away. So the OSD has to be. Uh, has to be powered uh, after the camera has been turned on. Next, we're going to test the flight modes as well as fail safe, which is the most important. So, the flight modes are shown on the bottom right corner. You see a little cross here that is, I believe, stabilized mode. It's running on a gyro. So, when I flip this switch, help track on. Because it adds a circle around it and across that is head track, basically uh, altitude hole and it's heading in that direction. And then return home. Return to home. You see an H with a U turn, so that's return to home. And head track on stabilize mode. I have a manual, manual. where the gyro doesn't work at all, so basically has full control. There's no gyro. And same return thing, to home. return home again, you see a H with a circle and manual, normal. To test fail safe, basically you are on stable mode, stabilized mode or just normal mode and you turn off the power, switches to H, return home and it, you could hear it's flying back, the ailerons are turning and to test it again. Power on. Welcome to drone mission. Engine off. Normal. Stabilize it, mode. It returns back to normal and you have a cross. So you have gyro and you're resuming control of the plane. Thanks, I'm gonna set pole position. So we go down the right stick. Get the menu out. And to set the home position, you bring down to the little home there. And you 
put a little run to the right. All the way to the right. Yeah, got it. To the screen. And you want to hold it down to the right for about five seconds until you see that. Actually, you see the hourglass. That's the home position being set. So we're good there. 11 satellite. That's really good. Uh, home is set. So to look at it, you could see it's uh, zero meters. See that? How's those rudders feel? Uh, I have to use my Okay, let me try the rudder. Rudder left. <laughs> yeah, turning left. Cool. Left.